updating your spectrum transmitters to get the most out of your spectrum products you want to update them when updates come available in this short video we're going to update my dx9 using a little memory card i'll show you step by step it only takes a few minutes and this process will apply to all of the dx transmitter lineup about six or seven months ago spectrum released a bunch of updates uh, for their transmitters, receivers, pretty much all of their smart products. And one of the reasons they released some updates was because our leash, the FAA new rules where you got to have a transmitter sending out a signal in your airplane, helicopter, drone over a certain size so that uh, it can be tracked. You don't need a smart transmitter to use this. You can just put power to this thing and throw it in your plane and you're legal. But since we have to have this, this, uh, well, we won't even talk about that. Since we need to have it, this little gizmo is going to send back some cool, some cool data. And if you want to see it on your transmitter, it's going to need to be updated. You know, this transmitter is probably 10 years old and the sky D is about a year old. So for them to be able to talk to one another, it needs to be updated. This is what's called a generation two transmitter. All of their black transmitters are generation two. Then the NX series came out. They're considered generation three. And the transmitters before this, the silver color, they're generation one. The generation one DX and the generation two DX lineup all update the way that I'm gonna show you now with the little SD card. Before we get started with the uh, update, the 5,000 subscriber jet giveaway, both winners have received their, their planes and they're pretty happy. So K-Way won the Yak by uh, Freewing Motion RC. He's already got it and I'm uh, pretty dang excited. He sent me a picture of him with it here. Take a look at it. And Butch King got the uh, Aero Scout ready to fly, and he's going to help some people learn how to fly with it. So, thanks again for everybody for subscribing and watching and all that stuff. And the best way to support me is to make sure that you're subscribed, leave a like, the thumbs up that goes a long ways in the YouTube world. Tell your friends and uh, leave comments and all that stuff. And we'll do another giveaway at uh, 20,000. So, hopefully, it'll happen sooner than later. So, hey. Let's update the DX9. So far we've done the NX6, the DX9, and I still got my IX12, the DX7S, and uh, the DXE and the DXS to, uh, to update. So we'll go through all those. And then we got all the receivers. And uh, oh, we got a bunch of stuff to update. So let's get started with the DX9. Hey, thank you guys. Let's see what level software, airware, firmware, whatever they call it, is in my DX9 now, and then we'll know what we're gonna change it to. So we power this guy on, and we get into the menu here, pressing the scroll wheel. We're gonna go on down here to uh, system setup, and yes, and then on down here to system settings, and go right past this menu, and go past this one, and down here at the bottom, we have 2.09. So that is the uh, the level of the airware we have now. So let's see what the update is all about. So to update any of your Spectrum products, you must have them registered to you in your Spectrum account. They call it My Spectrum. You know, you would have your My Spectrum, and, and I have my My Spectrum. You would log into the Spectrum website is where we're at now in the top right hand corner up here says my spectrum You create another login for that part. So Think of it as a uh, two websites uh, You know in one you, you go to spectrum website to access the my spectrum website And then once you're in the my spectrum website Logged in then it looks like this and here's a list of my products you know, the first transmitter on in the list of my products is the DX7S. 
and the next uh, transmitter in my list of my products is the DX9. And you can see over here to the right it says, you know, download updates and all kinds of stuff. And then you read you register all your stuff, your receivers, you know, anything that's updatable. And a lot of things are updatable. So we're doing the DX9. We're going to click on download updates. And here is a list of all the levels of a uh, software. Here is a software you can install into your DX9 if you're going to use it for a, a drone. They, they call it the Crossfire. I don't know anything about drones, but I just know if uh, you're going to use it to pilot a drone, you need to have the Crossfire. So we need to look for mine where I have the 2.09 in it. Here's what we're going to update it to. It looks like maybe I went past uh, mine. Let's, let's, let's look for the 2.09. So here is the level that I have right now. That was, uh, looks like it released on the 25th of January, 2022. This is Crossfire. Let's go. Here's mine. So here's 2.09 for the regular DX9, uh, January 2022. So let's go on up and see what's new past the 09. So here's DX9 Airware, no Crossfire. There's a 2.10. I missed that one. It was March 2024. And that was right about the time that I went uh, out of pocket. And then it looks like we have another one. There's the DX9 with Crossfire 2.10, and here's the DX9 no Crossfire 2.11, August 2024. And here's with Crossfire. So it looks like the latest one is the 2.11. So let's see what, uh, what changes there is real quick. So let's look and see what the changes are before we save it to an SD card, and I'll show you guys how to do this. Just below download. We have something to click right there. Click to open. And here we are. August uh, 2024, version 211. Changes listed below are since March 21, 2024. Let's see here. Correction and improvements. Uh, GPS processing for distance, degree, speed, and something. And uh, it's like a sailplane, VTEL, added sky remote id module status icon that's what we were just talking about uh, it also restored functionality of trim setup something a uh, corrected orientation images for the ar10 360t and here's something for the dx6e and dx80 only telemetry is now captured correctly so that's something for those two transmitters only and uh, audio system changes voice output model only so those are the changes that this 2.11 made. We can go back and look and see what the uh, 2.10 did real quick. So here's the 2.10. Let's see what changes they did with that. That was the, that was the big one. So, you know, I had 2.9 and here's 2.10. So GPS now. Um, all kinds of stuff. Smart battery reporting. Add note that tail type change required for forward programming to relearn servo settings. Improved a uh, French forward programming. It's cool. Fixed issue with losing ability to add switch. Corrected missed signal strength data. Cleaned up garbage pixels. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. All right. All right. I got my SD card in my hand and. Let's see what we need to do to update it. So I'm going to click download. Let's see. DX9 Airware. No Crossfire version 2.11. Download. And I'm going to click save. Now, that has been saved to my computer. All right. It's now saved on my computer. And this is what it is. The SPMTX.SAX. And I'm going to install my memory card the sd card and there it is it just popped up it recognized it usb drive e so i'm gonna click with my mouse the left button one time 
and then I'm gonna click the right button one time and that gives us more options down here show more options click the left button and right here send to and we're looking for USB drive E and bam there it is so now let's look at my USB drive E and here is everything that's on that memory card and there's the last file this spntx.sax now it's on the memory card now okay got the memory card out of the computer and right here on the side of the transmitter is where the memory cards go I'm gonna go ahead and insert the memory card into the transmitter got it locked in and power on the transmitter and it is automatically updating it directly from the memory card and then we'll see that it has a 2.11 in place of the 2.09 this must be a new something they've done in the update because the last update I did you had to turn the transmitter on press the scroll wheel and go through the menu to locate the memory card and then select the file and click upload you know, from the memory card to the transmitter. But we'll verify everything. So, scroll wheel. System set up, yes. And go past this guy. And there it is, 2.11.